my PlayStation 5 has collected dust for an entire year and I was excited to get my hands on one I mean even today they're still hard to get a hold of but it seems like video games just aren't as fun as they used to be I mean my first gaming console ever was the Sega Genesis that was given to me because my older brother didn't play it I was like I don't know three or four years old and the first system that I got for myself was a Game Boy Color with Pokemon Yellow and that game pretty much taught me how to read so I've been playing video games since as long as I can remember I remember as a kid I would spend from Friday as soon as I got off the bus all the way until Sunday night playing video games whether it was in my teenage years playing modern warfare 2 glued to the playstation 3 or in middle school staying up all nights playing pokemon on my ds under the covers because i was supposed to be sleeping or whether it was just grinding away at elder scrolls oblivion because it was a whole new world that i was experiencing for the first time it didn't matter what the game was or what age i was i was just excited to wake up every day and get back into whatever adventure i was playing the night before i mean all these experiences felt new and i guess that's part of being a kid even in high school and even in early college a lot of video game experiences sometimes they're brand new to you and even as a younger person you have more imagination right you can sort of immerse yourself a little bit better because it's easier to suspend your reality you don't have as many experiences when you're young and if you talk to kids these days right kids who are anywhere from seven years old all the way up to even 17 years old they feel the way that I felt back when I was a kid playing today's video games I mean go ahead ask a kid what their favorite game is and they will talk to you non-stop about roblox or minecraft or the new fortnite update or apex or whatever it is that's the new thing among us was huge for a while no matter what it is kids love it right kids these days still love video games and so that got me to thinking like maybe i should just go back and play some of the games that made me feel those same ways maybe these new games just don't capture me the same way because i'm not a kid anymore and the great part about that is that in the last two three years we've seen some incredible remasters of some of my favorite games ever i mean we just got the diamond and pearl remaster but even before that we've had spyro crash bandicoot we've had final fantasy 7 there's so many incredible remakes that have come out in the last few years and every time they come out I buy them and well I think you know what's coming next but I just don't feel it anymore and you know it makes sense right those games to me are solved even if they're remastered it's the same experience and the crazy part is that when I play them especially games like Spyro and Crash Bandicoot they look today the way that I remember them looking back in the day which just goes to show that graphics don't really matter especially when you're a kid your imagination just fills in the blurred lines literally and I guess I'm just making this video to ask you guys are you feeling the same way is it just me or are games just not fun anymore I guess it is me right because you know kids still feel this way but is that really it is it just because I'm an adult now are you guys are you my age are you in your 20s or maybe even your early 30s do you feel the same way I feel I have a feeling that it has to do with age but it's got to be other factors as well right I mean the gaming industry has completely changed since I was a kid I mean we're talking 20 years most new games today just follow the same formula as a successful game of that genre it feels like game industries are just terrified to take risks every single first person shooter has been following the call of duty formula for years look at mmo rpgs they all try to follow world of warcraft to some degree because they know that's what's most acceptable and that is what's most successful even battle royale games a genre that's not that old in comparison all follow the same formula that was set by PUBG and fortnite and the worst part is that all these franchises that have lasted for decades have now turned to more monetization strategies they're focusing more on how they can get gamers to spend more rather than prioritizing the gameplay experience entire games and systems are built around loot boxes and battle passes and rng and things that will just keep you playing over and over and over again or get you to spend more money i mean games these days aren't even released finished anymore there's always a day one patch that's 60 gigabytes and it takes you an hour to download it and there's still always bugs and balance changes that are crucial to the game being fun and yet on day one those crucial things are missing and i think first impressions matter a lot i think a lot of players especially with games like cyberpunk 2077 you download it and your first impression is horrible and that's it you're done you're either getting a refund or it's just gonna sit on your shelf and you'll tell yourself you'll play it one day but you won't and it's weird because when I'm at work right and I'm seven hours into my shift I'm thinking oh my god I can't wait to get home and just 
play a game just play a game that i've been wanting to play i've been telling myself i want to get more into genshin impact i feel like it's a game that i would really enjoy and if i could just sit down and immerse myself maybe i can get through some of those longer cutscenes that i don't really find that appealing or i tell myself that i'll give world of warcraft another try or maybe i'll boot up the latest call of duty zombies map and see if that's any fun and i always get the idea that when i get home i can play these games and it'll be really fun but every time i do i launch the game and i end up sort of looking at the menu for a minute and then i reluctantly jump into a lobby and i'll play a game for a little bit and then that's pretty much it i'll quit it in 30 minutes or less because it's just not gripping it's not engaging even though i spent hours looking forward to that moment i just end up on Instagram or YouTube or doing something else. I mean, I was excited for the Skyward Sword remaster, right? And it's still sealed in the box on my shelf. I feel like this is where the age thing comes in, right? Because I feel like as an adult in the back of my mind, I know that when I'm playing a game, there's something that I should be doing that's more productive, right? Whether it's cleaning a part of my room or doing some laundry or the dishes that are in the kitchen, or maybe I know that I'm gaming on borrowed time. I know that I have to wake up early for work tomorrow and I don't really have time to game right now. And so I feel guilty about losing sleep for something like that and maybe this is a cultural thing right I live in the United States and I feel like in our country there's just a lot of the grinding mindset right you should always be working and if you're not working you should be focusing on your side hustle right or how can you turn your hobby into a side hustle and I think that's why so many people want to be youtubers or streamers and luckily I've been able to do that to an extent but that doesn't mean that I can just post whatever I want and people will watch it in fact I feel like this video right here will probably get less views than most of the videos on my channel as of late so I've really been thinking about this a lot and I thought are we doomed like is this just it like am I just not going to enjoy games ever again and I actually don't think so I think that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that's the good news from somebody who's been dwelling on this to you who might be watching one of the biggest things that can actually break break this habit is a new genre which sucks because that means we have to wait for the gaming industry to change but think about it when Minecraft came out that was huge when Fortnite came out that was huge when Pokemon Go came out or even Among Us these games were new genres and they were new experiences that you could have either by yourself or even better with your friends and I remember when Fortnite came out right I was sort of jaded with video games as well but it was still fun at that time or Pokemon Go was a great example that was a whole new augmented reality experience that I had never had in gaming before so even as an adult it was new and fresh and exciting and I was excited to play Pokemon Go even though the gameplay was often sort of buggy right you guys remember the Pokemon Go launch the entire world was trying to log into the same mobile game at the exact same time and even though the gameplay was kind of boring it was still new it was a novelty it was the first time that I was able to go outside and see the entire world out there looking for a Pikachu in a park like that's so cool and it's not just that right and we don't have to sit around and wait for the gaming industry of course there's always new indie games and I encourage you guys to try them with friends and that's one thing that I noticed is that sometimes when I don't really want to play a game but my I force myself to because a friend of mine wants to hop in a lobby and this happened recently with Halo coming out I end up having a lot more fun than I thought right I didn't want to play the game but I forced myself to and because I was in a discord call with friends it was fun and I think the biggest thing and one thing that I'm looking forward to the most is new technology coming into gaming I mean just like Pokemon Go brought augmented reality to Pokemon I think virtual reality is going to take us to a new level and I think that it's just now starting to become a bit more mainstream with things like the Quest 2 and as really high-end gaming headsets come down in price I personally don't have one myself so I would say most regular gamers probably don't either but I think that's going to add a whole new layer of experiences to gaming and once everybody has one then we can have that Pokemon Go experience again or whatever the next big genre is going to be in virtual reality whatever the next Fortnite or Among Us is going to be that really takes advantage of the new virtual reality technology and gives us the jaded gamer an experience that we've never had before I don't know that's just my two cents but I'm really making this video to hear from you guys I want to hear your comments down below I want to know are you feeling the same way as me are you bored with gaming right now are you just not having fun or are you really enjoying all the new stuff that the industry has come up with I know this is a bit of a different video than I usually make but if you look back on the roots of this channel it was built on commentary style videos and I would love to get back into making content like this if you enjoyed it make sure you drop a thumbs up on it so that way I know that you want to see more and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace